Hi, I'm Linda Davis, a member of Anna Asmenis' creative team. Today I'd like to share how I layer photo blends masks above and below layers of artsy transfers to create a background that appears complex on a scrapbook page. But for detailed information on creating complex artsy pages, you really need to take Anna's course, Anna Blends Live. You'll be inspired. I know I have been inspired since taking the class in September. The design for this page is based on artsy layered template number 212. By layering a photo blends mask, transfers, and a brush, I created a unique page with this template. Sometimes we call that making it our own. To keep this video short, I'm simply going to walk through the layers panel for this page with you, but this is where I began my, with, uh, my page design with this template. Okay, let's look at the um, photo blends first that I started with. I placed mask four uh, from uh, Wild Autumn Photo Blends number one, and to that I clipped transfer two from Art Play Wild, and three artsy three layers from the PSD Artsy Transfers Wild Autumn number three. Only for the uh, stain, all of the other layers are um, on normal. Only the stain is on vivid light, at, but at 100% opacity. So let's close this group and leave it on, but let's look at the artsy transfers. I placed these transfers behind to fill out what I had on my photo blends mask. And on this, these, I only used seven of the layers. Um, and I left, I, I'm pretty sure that I left um, left them at, in the same blend mode, maybe change the opacity that Anna provided with the, this PSD set. So you can see the stain is on color blurn, the transfer normal, this stain is on hard light, the tape is on normal, you can see that here. It's hard, some of it is hard to see, the stains. Okay, that is also on color burn. Okay, so that's those are the transfers that are below. And they create the depth because actually when I began this page, I began playing with the Park Play brush set. And if I can if I turn off the uh, artsy transfers rust and the photo blends mask and those layers that I clipped to it, you can see how flat it really is. I did give the uh, brush a bevel and emboss. This is brush nine from Park Play number one. I gave it, it's hard to see, but if I enlarge it a little, you can see a little of the depth. And I placed a gradient. I'm gonna turn this one on so you can see the effect. I placed a gradient. This is orange to green. And I use the diamond style, minus 90%, 100% scale. And then for a little more color, I placed the Photo Glow from Art Play Palette Tinge on Color Burn at 50%. But it's not until I add the texture from the with the Photo Blends Mask and the Transfer that it really creates a, a scene with depth. There's one more group of layers just above uh, Autumn Cheer Solid Paper Number Two. Let me close this one out and I will open this one up so you can see the layers on this. And here I have the Wild Autumn Overlay number one. I changed the color, gave it a little more gray look by just placing a black and white adjustment layer at 35%. I used a stain from the multimedia brushes and then some stains and texture from the uh, Artsy Transfers Autumn Rust 4, 3, and 5. I actually had them all open so I could pick and choose what I wanted to use. And you can see that orange stain is on Vivid Light, but it gives a lot of color. Now I'm going to turn back on the layers that I uh, placed just below the frames so you can see what the bottom portion of this page looks like. And here are those layers. I used some layers 
from the template itself, spatter stains. I use some um, uh, layers from the PSD Transfers Wild Autumn. Uh, you can see those here. And uh, Autumn Rust. This is the gold paint that comes in with Autumn Palette, uh, Art Play Palette Autumn Cheer Gold Paint Number no. Two, and it was so close to the sand, color of the sand in my uh, focal photo, the extraction, that I just needed to make a little adjustment on my photo, and they matched um, perfectly. I, in case you're curious, I often move the spatters uh, and the um, art strokes and some stains to the top above um, above where they might have occurred if I if I left if I left the layers in the same order that you know like if I left all of the layers back down uh, all the uh, spatters or the art strokes if I left it back down because that this way it shows up and it wouldn't otherwise so I often change the sequence of those in the in my layers panel now, with my extraction, okay, and the framed photos, here's my extraction, the framed photos, the multimedia leaves four and the multimedia branch five, that finished my page. And on that extraction, I gave it a, uh, an adjustment. This is the adjustment for the sand, and I gave it a custom shadow. And then I clipped my photos to the um, to the mass that came with um, the template, Artsy Layered Template number 212. And there are uh, several layers. Sometimes I change the blend mode, but these are things that you can you will learn about in Anna's class. And uh, my multimedia leaves. That is where I place the word art and so that it would be just under the leaf and its shadow and you can see I did recolor that with the burn tool a special thank you to Adrian for helping me figure out how to do that uh, I have three more examples that I would like to of layouts in which, on which I've combined photo blends mass with transfers and in the first example I clipped my photo to mask 5 from watercolor photo blends number 6 and placed artsy transfers behind and on the sides of the page of my page to build depth. There are also layers from the template, artsy layered template number 202, which I used. Um, I used another template on this page. And while I made changes to the template, I've used the template's horizontal design to create this page. On my except, uh, second example, the meanest teacher, I clipped the large photo to a mask from, cam from the camera photo lens number one and then built the background with PSD transfers from uh, PSD Artsy Transfer Studios and also layers from the template. This is another template, number 205, uh, another artsy layered template, and as well as uh, transfers, the ping transfers from Art Play Studios. One last example. I clipped my focal photo of this critter to a mask from Wild Autumn Photo Blends number one. It was mask number three, and placed it um, placed layers from Artsy Transfers Autumn Rust number no. 5 below it. I also clipped this photo to some of the layers of that transfer, uh, a transfer layer and a paint layer in those PSD um, layered files. And then I placed a mask number no. 1 from Wild Autumn Photo Blends number no. 1 below these layers and clipped of another photo of the white mums where I photographed this little critter to extend the flowers out. Um, so you can see there are a lot of different options for playing with photo blends masks uh, and layering them with um, artsy layered, uh, artsy -layered uh, transfers. 
Now, I hope you found these examples for combining PhotoBlend's mask and Artsy Transfers helpful. But if you haven't taken Anna Blend's Live, I encourage you to sign up for the next session. Anna explains clearly and in detail all the possibilities for blending your photos with PhotoBlend's mask and transfers, along with some design principles for creating complex looking artsy layouts. You will be amazed by just how easy it is to create our complex looking art. I know I was. You can find information for registration at AnnaAspensDesigns.com slash classes. And you can find Anna's designs, including photo blends, mass, and transfers in her store at oscraps.com. Please let Anna know if you have other questions.